The word freedom, first off, is not free. We know freedom comes at a cost. It depends who's willing to stand up and fight for it. I'm Tech Sergeant Shanette Jones for the U.S. Air Force, mother of three, and I'm a freedom writer. I made the decision to join the military when I was nine. Of course, not knowing exactly what it meant. My grandfather served in the Air Force for 23 years, so to hear his stories really intrigued me. That's why I made the decision to join. After four years in Room 203, right after graduation. I needed a little bit more. I didn't know exactly what it was, but when we enrolled in Orange Coast College, it didn't give me the edge that I was looking for. I figured that was the time for me to go. So I joined the military March 15, 2000. I was in Germany. I've been to Iraq, I've been to Kuwait. I served in Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. At the time, I was doing mortuary. I was assigned to mortuary. It was challenging. And some days you wanted to be the body on the slab. Most days you were happy that you weren't. But the respect and honor you got from sending someone's loved one back to Port Dover and making sure that they got their loved one home safe, I don't know a word to describe that. But I hope if ever someone had to send me back home that they will send me off with just as much respect as I gave them. After taking my oath, I realized that the challenges that I embraced with Room 203 made it a lot easier to understand the challenges of the Air Force. Ms. G gave us the world. Our thoughts meant something. And to write that down gave us the freedom we didn't know we possessed. And I went back to that when I was over in Kuwait. Some things you just can't tell other people. So I wrote it down because it was my release to let it go. Ms. G's power through writing helped me throughout combat. It brought me back the peace and freedom that I was fighting for. I served in the Air Force for 16 years, 10 months. I've dedicated myself to my country and to everyone else. My children are loving having me as a whole, and so am I. So right now, I'm building myself back up, reminding myself that what happened to me in Room 203 will always be with me. We will forever be freedom writers.